Hey, you ever heard that phrase, you should live every day as your last? Um, Christians are mindful of the fact that the Bible says that our lives are vapors. Here today, possibly gone tomorrow. I've become more and more convinced that the only guarantee I have in this life is God. Every other thing that is created, and I mean every other thing that's created, and I mean every, whether it's emotional, whether it's philosophical, whether it's a thought or an idea, is transient and mutable and it can be taken. Um, God is the only permanent, immutable, unchangeable person that I know that can't ever be taken from me. The impact that that has on my life or is having or that I want to have my life is to live a life of substance. And I'm trying to figure out what that means, to be honest with you. Um, Jesus lived a life of substance. I think Martin Luther King lived a life of substance. I realize we can't all be heroes and have statues and have movements named after us. But I think most, if not all, human beings crave substance. We want what really matters. We do. We crave it. And um, I want to encourage you to pursue that in your life. I don't want you and I to be the people who have to get cancer for this to happen or have to lose a loved one for it to happen or have to lose our jobs for it to happen or have to lose a loved one for it to happen or you know what I mean that's usually how it happens you know we're, we're kind of corralled into substantive living by providences that show us how vain our lives are and how vulnerable we really are and so we're kind of corralled into substance and depth and gravity and weightiness and meaningful stuff and I don't know what what if we pursued that with those corralings but what if we pursued that without it what if we tried to position ourselves in our lives to where we could actually say though I don't want to die right now if I were to die I'm okay with that because by God's grace and His grace alone, I am living in the light that He's given me. And I'm doing all that I can do to live a life of substance. And you can rest. You don't have to fret. It's a different type of life. Instead of putting it off and I'll get to that life when I get married, when I finish school, when I have a kid, when my kids get older, when I retire, when I deal with this addiction, when I, when I, when I, and we never get to our lives of substance. Constantly grasping, never getting it. What's it gonna take for you to live a life of substance? To where when you lay down at night, you can say, I hope God gives me the grace to wake up in the morning, but if I don't, I'm all right with that. 
I've done what I could. I've learned to the best of my ability. I'm not perfect. Um, fear isn't my God. God is my God. And I'm doing what I can. Um, lions were made to hunt and to kill and to rule. And except they are prohibited by providence, that's what they do. And I think we were made to live a life of substance. We should figure out what that is and get on it. Because if anything should be a gradual creep into the soul, it should be the reality that life has a lot of hoopla in it. Just stuff that doesn't really matter. And then there's the stuff that really matters. For me, that's my relationship with God. That's me being a husband and a father. That's me being a servant of the Lord Jesus Christ. And for me, that means how am I going to show the world God's goodness and His glory and how am I going to contribute positively to my city, to my state, to my nation, and to my world. That's substance to me. And there's all this stuff baiting me to chase it. I'm figuring it out. I hope you'll figure it out with me. So we'll live lives of substance. I want to close with um, a thought. Um, everybody in history that we admire lived a life of substance. Doesn't matter who it is. <laughs> they could be on all the spectrums, religiously, non-religious, all our heroes. They could be sporting people. They just, they have a substance about them. And um, I think we can be that too. We may never have a statue, we may never win an award, but we can have a life of substance. Figure out what that means and pursue it with all your might. What matters most? Whatever the answer is, pursue that. Have a good day.